everybody, I'm Christy Holtze. Thank you for watching the Mayesh Design Star. Today we're going to be talking about large altar pieces. And today we'll be using the Majesty Vase by Accent Decor. It's a large piece that's almost three feet tall. And I'm going to show you how to make a design in it today. Okay, the first thing that I do, whether it's the container that comes from Accent Decor or if it's a bucket or, or um, cup that we found in the shop, is I take the Oasis netting and I cut a big rectangle out of it and then I start molding it around, around the vessel. Another thing that I did because it's such a large piece and I know that some of my stems are going to be bigger and some of the flowers in my recipe contain big stems is I cut holes in the Oasis netting to make it just a little, to make the holes, holes bigger, if you can see that. So now that I have it, you don't have to tape it or anything. Once you get it in there, it'll slide right in. And then the next step is you add water with vase food, of course. I'm gonna start with this stick that I picked up on the way here today. I think it might be my mosa, I'm not even sure. But usually what I do when I need large pieces and I want a foraged look is I just tell my rep that that's exactly what I'm looking for and she sends me branches of things I have no idea what the names of them are. The next branch that I'm gonna put in, um, I think I'm gonna put in some eucalyptus. I layer it right on, literally right on top of the other greenery. And when you're using branches, I like to cut them at a diagonal so that there's more surface space for water. And then I also go back in and cut little slits. For people that are using frogs, this will fit right over your frog but it also helps get more water into the branch quicker. I think the general rule is one and a half tall or than the vase is, is, is vi very visually appealing, but rules are made to be broken. And so if in the case you don't have branches that are tall enough, or maybe you don't have a space that's tall enough, um, the way that you improvise is to um, is to take that visual space, the one and a half times, and take it out to the side. This is wisteria. Um, I, I'm taking the stems and taking them all the way to the bottom of the arrangement, or to the bottom of the container. These are poke berries. You just tell your representative you want some poke berries, and they come in bundles. They're actually, they're actually weeds, so I feel like um, my two best friends are my mayesh flower rep and um, my friend who, who doesn't keep up their yard very well. <laughs> we do have some passion vine for some of our greens. And you can add this at the beginning. You can add this at the end. You can add it. Whenever, whenever you want to. I'll just give it a nice clean cut. Tear off any leaves that have bug chews. I like to show the fruit and the flowers. And you can just stick them in a water tube. Okay, and now I'll start adding our flowers. Um, some flowers that I like to use, I like to use Pertia as pretty much a golden rule. I love roses, I love peonies. I think ranunculus work well in really large arrangements. Um, anything that's got a short stem is not a good choice for a large arrangements designed with the bucket and with the, the wire on top because you need the stem length. Um, so that's why we stick to uh, flowers like amaryllis, dahlias, roses, peonies, ranunculus. Um, so I will start with a focal flower. I want I want my I want my piece to be about roses. I want the story to be about seasonal roses. So I'm going to put him instead of looking to the front. I kind of want him to the side because I don't want him to steal their show. Amaryllis are great flowers. 
for large scale arrangements because their stems are so long. I'm gonna add in some O'Hara's. These are the most amazing flowers. And it's okay to go up and it's also okay to go out and to the side, just however you think. The quicksand roses are also another great choice, really for any garden style design, but they have a nice stem length for, for large designs and they have a, an amazing color that blends with just about anything. So this is a, um, this is a David Austin and they're amazing. As you probably know, they're very popular. I do still feel like flowers should be in threes. Um, I, I feel like it kind of looks like a family, kind of familyed over here together, it look like they're kind of growing in the garden together. Carnations are fabulous too. They're a great way to give you that nice big lush look and save some money. There's lots of nice varieties and so many colors of carnations now too. Ranunculus are great to use in these big arrangements. They're nice and sturdy. These dahlias are beautiful. They're so big. Because I'm not able to go up as high with this arrangement, I wanted to take it out so that it's taking up as much visual space. And don't be afraid to go out. Just make sure that your flowers do have water. These are tulips. And I, again, I chose to add three and I'm putting them just so they, hopefully they're gonna just um, fall over the side. For height, um, if you notice, I don't have any line flowers. Um, I, I kind of like unusual flowers to create my lines. This is Luminaria, it's dried so you can buy it in bulk. Um, if you let your rep know that you like this, which ours does, um, when it goes on sale or um, maybe when we need to fill a box to, to make the freight and the shipping um, worthwhile, we can always add this, it's dried, we can sell it in the shop and we can also use it. And then this is pompous grass, which is so fluffy and amazing. Um, it has a funny little odor to it, but if you can get over the odor, it's absolutely beautiful. And people um, are al always, always uh, find it interesting. One of the important things to consider when you are designing a large arrangement for an altar piece, whether it's out gonna be outdoors or indoors, is transport. Um, and the great thing about this container is the bucket pops right out and it's metal so it's heavy enough that you can take and put it in a bucket or whatever your delivery system is. Um, if you're doing a large amount of pieces, often there's no time to go back and edit the design. But um, if you have multiple large pieces, um, then it's great because your delivery people can just pop that bucket right into the container. Um, at a lot of our churches around town, we just leave our containers and we just take in the design in the buckets rather than, than haul the, the containers around. Thank you for watching this episode of Mayesh Design Star. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful.